What's up guys, it's AlecMac111 and I have a massive unboxing for you guys today. This is the first unboxing of the summer. I have been gone for the past week and a half in Indiana, traded a bunch of stuff, bought a few stuff, building my new Polar Star HPA gun. I traded for this while in Indianapolis on my way up to Indianapolis. I bought a Crytek Chris Vector on the way from Warsaw to Indianapolis. I traded that and then on the way back I came and then I have this and so I got this. I'm super excited for this gun, it's super cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the, kind of just the build on this. Obviously, I didn't have an, a, like an actual unboxing because I traded it from a guy in a neighborhood, good old suburb trades. Um, up here we have a pretty cool suppressor. It's kind of kind of like some sort of little like stabby tip on the end. I think this is one of the uh, it's a Strike Warrior. It's like a PWS suppressor. I don't exactly know what brand it is. Got the really nice rail system. It is an A and K base, uh, which has a nice sight up here. And then this is pretty cool too. It has a red dot on top of that as well. Body's nice. They're not like the most amazing bodies. Um, a and K's are pretty high quality, but not like anything like a VFC, uh, GMP or anything at like the super high end. But it does have a nice riser on here as well, so it's got a really good cheek weld. Um, and then with this gun, uh, the, this did not come with it. This has been added after, and then it did come with this as well. But with this gun came a full HPA setup too. So we got an Ninja, Ninja tank. This is the I think this is a 90 4500 or maybe it's a 68 4500. Yeah, it's a 68 4500 carbon fiber tank. These are the best tanks. Carbon fiber makes things so much lighter. And if you are not using carbon fiber tank and you're using HPA or Polar Star, man, that's hard because the metal tanks are just so much heavier. And then these ones just kind of fit really well too. And it's just nice. That's one of the biggest reasons why I left Polar Star in the first place because I didn't like a line. I didn't like having to have all this stuff attached. Up next, we have a Ninja LPR. This is one of the best regulators in the market. These things are great. Ninja's great. Um, has the amped airsoft here, as is one of their packages, and then it also comes with an amped line. This is like the Desert Rattlesnake line, I believe, and then also came with a shorter line as well. This is really, really short. I don't exactly know how this is possible. Um, it'd be like really, really tight to your body. I picture it coming here, and it'd literally be like in the, on your back, and you'd have to keep it really small. Maybe this would work for an SMG. Um, so that's probably if I ever build an SMG HPA, if maybe I do my, instead of my Crytek SPR, I get a different upper, and then I use this line for that. All right, up next is another HPA setup. This is actually for myself. I bought this for my Crytek uh, SPR Mark II that I'm building. Super excited for this. But this is, I actually got a pretty good deal. I got it from a guy that used to work uh, at Airsoft GI. So I got this tank. This is a Ultra Air Player Choice 68. I, it's probably pretty much the same thing as that Ninja tank. Um, this one is much newer, however, and it has a kind of a sleek black finish on the outside, which I think is cool. This one's nice. Both of them are pretty new tanks, which is still pretty good. And then I also got a Redline uh, SFR regulator. These are really good regulators, too. I think this is considered one of the two best on the market. That one's a, just a step below. Um, they're pretty much all doing the same thing, but I really like these. I had, when I had a first HPA, I used like the fire red line fire base i think is what it was and at that time it was like the best regular on the market um and also this is like uh amped airsoft's premium line it's premium braided so it's like braided twice i think but it kind of has this really cool little gold um that shines through that black outside of the nylon weaving <laughs> i really like this i think they have some sort of like metal in here it's just really really cool looks cool and then it's definitely like almost like too protected i have Back in the day, I used to, I frayed one of my old lines. So these amp lines are awesome. Once I went with an amp line, I never looked back. I got the America line and sure shot midget is still running that today. All right, up next is a sniper. Yes, it's a sniper. No, it's not an SSG 24. I wish, dude. Um, this is a sniper. I traded this for one of my pistols, but it is upgraded. It does have a lot of internal upgrades. Um, it's pretty cool. I think the base is a well, and then it is like a L96 style platform. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I actually kind of like the feel of it. This just, these guns just feel so good. It is actually lighter than I thought it was. Um, it has upgraded piston, upgraded cylinder. Um, I think it's designed to shoot like 500 with the, just with everything that's going on inside. Um, it looks like these are the upgrade parts here. So some sort of bucking. He did say, uh, this is an SHS red. He did say that the bucking might be torn. It might need replaced. So I might do that. Um, he threw in an little gay patch. It's pretty cool. This is the spring um APS style some more patches G and G stuff this looks like this must be the old trigger box he did say that it has an upgraded trigger box and man that's like I think that's plastic so the original trigger box was plastic I would assume this new one is metal hopefully um and then he did include four mags as well which is nice uh, I don't know what grand BBs are in these I think he said he was shooting like 0. 0.4 
twos out of it or something, which is pretty crazy high. Um, I will probably shoot something lower than that. Honestly, with what I would do with snipers is I kind of just keep them. Most of the fields that I live around are not super friendly to snipers. So you can't shoot over 400 at Splatter Park at all with any gun, no matter what, even with, they don't have MEDs. And then some of the other fields are like 500. But I know what's really cool about some of Novertis videos is he's able to shoot like 550, 600 and some of those stuff. And that's one of the reasons that combined with the heavy BBs is why he can reach out and touch so far. I've thought about getting into sniping. I don't know if you guys would like that. I do enjoy sniper style gameplay. I used to have a TSM or a TM VSLR 10. It was really, really nice wood. Um, thing shot laser beams like 300 feet. And it was just, I mean, it had like $900 of the upgrades. But if you guys want to see sniper gameplay or something like that, let me know. Speaking of gameplay footage, if you guys have not watched the last video I uploaded, that was me playing Airsoft. I know, right? I have not been able to play much at all, not been able to film gameplay, but that will be right here. I'll link it in the card so you can watch it. Um, let's go ahead and do, which one do I want first? Let's do the high capper first. I opened this already. I actually bought this off eBay. I will, from time to time, kind of watch eBay and kind of see... Um, what's going on? I had to open this one before I left, but I didn't have time to do a video. This is a high cap of 4.3 build. Um, it is a parts build, so I figured you guys would just think it's cool. It does have, I, I'm still assembling it and kind of like doing some of the stuff, but I got it for a pretty decent price. WE upper, got a lot of AIP stuff inside. It's got a tight bore barrel, 6.03, upgraded bucking. Um, I think it's the stock TM, um, everything else internally, except for the slide obviously is metal. And I think this is a WE almost positive it's one of the w we um socoms so it has that but it does come with a lot of external upgrades as well it has the aip base plate that's on there it's got some magazine wells um this is the standard 4.3 high cap of mag that came with it originally um and then this bag oh parts got a kind of i like the glow grip i was kind of confused with that because you got the aip trigger here aip um mag release as well and i was like I don't know what brand this is, but I thought it was kind of cool, and it, it does look kind of weird, but I think that's kind of one of the things with high cap is they just look cool when you have them custom, and there's another base plate there. So I think this came with two of the bottom base plates, and then here is the 4.3 lower. That's what connects it. It was originally the dual stainless custom was what it was. Um, you can tell that. So the upper is a 5.1. I think this is a three or 4.3 lower. I'm not 100% sure. I guess it, this could have been a 5.1. I don't know if they actually made these in 5.1 anyway it works together and it fits everywhere i just have to buy a new leaf spring for it it also came with a we extended mag and these two grip tapes right there all right up here this is actually something i'm super excited for i can't remember exactly what i traded for this when it <laughs> when i trade for all these things i ship them out and then i leave and go travel a little bit and see some of my friends and stuff but i know what's in here i traded some pouches i think for that oh yeah i traded some pouches and then i'm trading an l can for it see it's all coming back to me it just takes a little bit um he did a nice Baggy wrap. Ooh, there's a high capper holster. I think, yeah, it's a side tech or what is, what pistol he sent me? He's making a Glock, right? I think this is a Glock. Yeah, yeah, it's the Glock. Cool. So this is the Glock, and then this is the Haley Strategic Chest Rig. This is the newer gen. I've had two of the older gens. Um, this thing's pretty cool. I just sold a multicam one to one of my friends in Canada, um, but this is the newer generation of it, which is pretty cool. I, oh, it's got like integrated mag pouches on this one. I mean, it did in the other one too, but these ones are a little bit more solid. And then this is kind of cool. This could be like, I love gear guys. If you guys haven't figured that out, um, I got like a little map thing in there. Two pistol mag pouches. This may be a radio pouch, but Haley's, I say HSGI. This is a Haley strategic chest rig. I say Haley's? Haley strategic chest rig. I can't ever remember. But now we got the Piggly Wiggly grocery store bag. And so this thing has an Elite Force Glock 17. I think it's a Glock 17. I think it's the Gen 4, which is actually, I what I want, I'm really gonna get a new Glock, like a real one. Um, I have my AR pistol right now, but I think a Glock 17 Gen 5 is what I'm probably gonna get. I don't know if I'll wait that long, or if maybe I'll just go with the Gen 4. I'm just waiting for like a little bit. All right, the Piggly Wiggly bag's got me, but we're good. Nashville Indoor Airsoft Arena. That's pretty cool. I know this guy is from Tennessee, and there is the pistol. So he said it was used a little bit, but it's in pretty good shape. You can tell that it's definitely got a little bit of dirt there for sure. Hopefully it still shoots well. I think he might have just uh, kind of sanded it to maybe get it to, to look uh, less, like, glossy. But it looks like it's definitely been holstered. Maybe that's why it is, too. But I traded him one of my Elkan sights for this. I had one of these before. I think they're pretty cool. I like them. Um, I think I don't really use pistols a lot. That's the problem with me. Like, I love playing with pistols and kind of running them and, like, drawing and doing drills and stuff. Kind of, like, practicing that 
and memory for real stuff. But man, like, there's just no need to run a pistol most of the time in Airsoft with what I'm doing, especially with that open plays. And then I have to run a belt setup and or like keep it in one of my mag pouches. I just don't find myself needing a pistol a whole lot. If I use, if I play indoor, I think sometimes I would just solely go and run a pistol because I love pistols and I love that. I probably build some stupid good high kappa. I mean, I've already had a few cool high kappas, um, but nothing that is quite like, oh, I'm gonna get five mags or get a tap airsoft something and just go and ball out with a pistol the whole time. Up next is the only thing in this unboxing that is not airsoft. This is a 100 Thieves hoodie. Some of you guys, I've actually been getting tons of comments like, bro, nice 100 Thieves merch. Um, I play a lot of Call of Duty if you have not seen that. Um, I'm like Prestige Master 312, I think, in Black Ops 4. So I have been playing a lot of Black Ops and I've always liked gaming. Um, and I've always liked Nade Shot, and so when 100 Thieves released stuff, I saw this on eBay, and I was like, man, I'm going to buy it, and if I don't like it, I'll eventually resell it, but these are super, super desirable. This is their cream hoodie. Oh, dang, that is so cool. If you guys can't tell how cool this is, it's not quite as cool as the Alec Mack 101 hoodies that are going to come out. It is a little bit, I might have to do some staining a little bit. It is pretty, the color looks pretty good. He said it was used. It has a little bit like dog fur on it, but if I wash it, it should be good. And I'll make everything look pretty, but I don't know if I want to wear this or resell this because if it's white, I'm going to destroy it and get it super dirty. And these things are worth like 250, 400, somewhere in that range, which is pretty crazy for a hoodie. But super cool, 100 Thieves hoodie, cream, limited edition, literally never going to come out again, sold out within like five minutes. But up next, we have another gun. So back to the guns, I think, I actually don't even know 100% which in this box, but we only have two left, which is actually... Pretty decent. I think we're getting through this pretty quickly. If you guys, I know some of you guys are like, man, these unboxings are so long. I love them. And some of you are like, man, these unboxings are so long. I hate them. Um, wherever you're at, we're going to be going. And we're unboxing. I believe this is the, uh, I bought two guns from a guy who was getting out of airsoft. And he's like, hey, dude. Oh, this is the different one. That is the, oh, I still have two more boxes. Whoops. So this is the AK. This is one of the AKs I traded from a guy on hop up. And these thing, this thing is actually pretty cool. I wasn't sure how external quality was gonna go because it was a fairly cheap-ish uh, stock build. But internally, this thing has a ton of stuff. It's got like all SHS stuff. It does have a Gate Titan. It has a Proven hop up in there, I believe, or some sort of tight bore. I'm not sure 100% what hop up that is. Yeah, you can tell it's an upgraded barrel and a hop up is upgraded as well. I love that he put the BCM grip on here. These are my favorite grips. I absolutely love this. It feels actually pretty good. It feels pretty solid. Um, I traded him a nice gun for this. Um, I traded my Black Rain Ordnance gun. That, that is like the, the highest quality external gun I've ever felt on any gun, which is pretty crazy because it's a King Arms build. Um, but this is pretty cool. Hopefully it shoots well. I'm excited to see how it shoots. I actually like that. Kind of like that T1 up there. I don't know if I'll run it really there. That's kind of different for AKs. It's just kind of hard. And if you want to get the scope mount, this doesn't even have the bar for the scope mount on this as well. But he did include... Oh, he included the Odin too, which is pretty cool. He included the Odin because I have an Odin Innovation speed loader, and this is the AK, um, the AK adapter or something. It's 3D printed, which is actually pretty cool. And I think he included five ENL mid caps, if I, or a few ENL mid caps. That's actually feel pretty high quality too. I like, honestly, really like the brown mid caps in AKs. I'm not a huge AK guy. Like I like them, but I've just never run one consistently. So if you guys want to see me uh, run this gun in a game, comment like uh, comment AK. And maybe I will take it out to Splatter Park next time. I'll just rock with this for a little bit because I do like AKs. I just have never really been a huge AK person as far as like what I've run build wise. But three mags there, I think. Maybe it's only three mags in the Three mags? There's at least three. Uh, maybe I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, there they are. So here are five. So five total ENL mags. These are nice. I like that brown color. It's pretty too. All right, here's what I was talking about the two guns. So this is a Crytac. I think this is two guns. It doesn't feel like it's two guns. Maybe it's just tightly packed, but this is a Crytac. <laughs> and I lost my light. All right, fix the light. We're good. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's still balanced. This guy was getting out of airsoft, and so he traded me both of these, or sold me both these guns um, for fairly cheapish. Uh, I think this is right. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong. Hold on, let me try. I think we're good. I think this is it. Anyway, lots of packaging. All right, this, this is right. I am correct about this. This is, I got a DFC Amoeba. Wow, that is heck of a pain. All 
remember, I wonder what gen of the Amoeba this is where they ran pink on there. It's actually kind of cool. So this is an Aries Amoeba. And then also in here, there is a Crytac. I'm actually sure if it's a CRV or what it is. This is a Crytac lower. This is really well packaged. I mean, some people it's crazy packaged gun super well and some are like, eh. So that's a lower Crytac. Oh, and there goes a little bolt catch. I think it's good. Um, externals, looks like he included a flash hider there. He included some sort of ACOG, which is pretty cool. I don't, I didn't, I don't think I expected him to include this. I wasn't hundred percent sure, but now it's time for the uppers. I think this is the, yeah, this is the Crytac stock on that. I think he says that the Amoeba didn't have a stock or he wasn't including it or something. Um, but I, yeah, he was just getting out of the sport or he needed money or something. So I was like, yeah, dude, don't take those off your hands. I always like buying guns if people will sell them to me for pretty cheap because then I can buy them, do some unboxings on them and then resell them to people and also give them a pretty good deal. But yeah, this is, it's like the Honey Badger Upper. I don't, I think these were made the same way. I don't think this is mixed mix and match upper. Um, but this is the Honey Badger rail system and then it's got the suppressor on there. I, when Aries actually, I was working with Z-Shot when they came out with the Honey Badgers and they were really, really cool. I absolutely love them, but and Aries Amoebas are great, but Crytax, man, it's crazy how good Crytax are. And so that will go like that. He's got an RBG on here. Um, definitely, this is a Gen 1 of the Crytax. You can tell by the trigger and then some of the external stuff as well. They're just a little bit different, uh, the Mark 1s versus the Mark 2s. But this is nice. I, pretty, I like it. Looks like it's a little bit worn. These are definitely fake embassites. You can just tell by the build quality, either that or they got ran through a shredder. But it looks like it's a little bit of both. Um, the flash hider was there, included this ACOG, which is nice too. Hopefully this thing works. Um, but we have one more box and it's from Evite. All right, last box is the Evite box. This is, I think this is actually a mystery box. I don't know which one this is, um, but I think, or it's maybe their open, open box stuff. I needed, I think one or two things from, uh, ooh, APS box. Just kidding, you didn't see that. Now you're gonna see APS box. I think I needed one or two things from them and this is pretty cool, I don't wanna look. I'm not gonna look at what's underneath, I can't tell. But this is APS something. I think these are open box. It's definitely open box. Open box something. What, is this a shotgun? Uh, so I don't, I've never gotten any of the e-bike open boxes before, but it's like an open box mystery box. Holy crap, this is a shotgun. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh man, it's like a gas shotgun. <laughs> that's pretty, actually kind of sick. So it's some sort of gas APS shotgun. Um, I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but the box looks pretty tore up and it looks decently beat up externally. It's definitely like heck of lube. There's a lot of grease on this. Um, that's, oh, that's like a shotgun shell bag. So this is a, no way. It's like eject. This is a shell ejecting shotgun. It's actually dope. So let's take throw it down there like a normal shotgun and then you shell eject it and I would guess the reservoir or the tube is in the stock or something. But yeah, it's super lube. This is kind of cool because you can catch the shells with it. So you slide this over here and this will catch the shells once they eject from the chamber. Um, and then here are a bunch of parts for that. So all these are like the, uh, they actually shoot like the, uh, for the birdies that are in real shotgun shells. I don't know exactly what you call them. I worked at a trap shooting range for like two years. You actually put BBs in here and then shoot them. These are like, you're not reusable. That's crazy. This is what the shell looks like. So you literally load BBs in there and then you, sh you shove it and stuff it. And then like everything, that's pretty cool. And then you load everything in and it shoots itself. Wow. So I will probably definitely be playing with this. Definitely be messing around with this. Up next is another APS box. I don't think this one's a shotgun. I think this is an AEG. Maybe this looks more AEG. Uh, it has 821 of 18 Ian gun tester. So that was like six months ago that they tested this. Oh, it's one of these. Yo, that's actually dope. I've been wanting to see one of these. These are actually pretty decently priced too. They're not like super expensive, but wow. Dude, these, they're like a repro or not repro, but like a F1 firearms type AEG. Dang, this thing's cool. I love the red. It literally is like the Iron Man gun. It does look like this is bent. Looks like it's been used. I don't know where they get these guns if people use them for a little bit and then they ship them back. But Phantom Extreme do feel so light. It's got the canted iron sights too if you want to pull up there and look like you're shooting three gun. Got the Extendo mag release as well. I love that button on that. It's got ambi controls. 
on that. This, even the, I really like that selector as well. Got the cool stock on this. It is, is a little bit loose. I'll have to adjust that. But man, this is really cool. Comes with a high cap and then you guys should get more of these open box. If you guys like these open box mystery boxes, this is so much better than what I've gotten so far in the past few mystery boxes. Maybe I'll pull up and buy like five of these or something. Maybe that could be a video idea, like buying five e-bike mystery boxes. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, I would definitely be down based on the stuff I got off of this. This is pretty dang cool. Now to the real reason I went on e-bike. I bought a PTS grip. This is for my polar, new Polar Star build. I bought one of the new grips for AEG slash HPA. This is literally the only reason I ordered the, all of this. And I was like, oh, might as well get those open boxes. I saw them and this shirt was four bucks. So I said, why not get a sweet shirt for four bucks? I don't exactly know. It's like, a, what's the brand? Um, it is a next level apparel and it just says gun shirt. I was like, yeah, I can't, <laughs> Guardian Apparel. So they can't say no to a $4 t-shirt that's in that cool of blue with something that'll piss off liberals. Can I say that? Can I say that in my video? <laughs> That's it guys. That was actually hopefully pretty quick. I don't know exactly how quick it ended up being, but I got some really cool stuff. Really impressed with those e-bike open boxes. I hopefully the guns work well and shoot well. Um, but either way, I got them for pretty cheap, so I cannot complain. I am going to be redoing my entire studio. Hopefully you guys got to the end of this video. Um, I'm going to be redoing the wall. Summer is going to be awesome. I'm going to be playing a lot. I'm building that HPA gun, this SPR Mark II of the Crytac. It's gorgeous. Um, but this has been Alec Mac 1-1. I'm excited for the summer. And I'll see you guys later.